Good day everyone. Today I'm going to present you a, a little project that I've been working since, uh, <clears throat> well, today actually. And uh, the reason why I did that is because sometimes, well, you don't always have access to something that is called a serial monitor. So, of course, when you're using a computer with your Arduino programmer, you can use the serial monitor to send values, debug, and all that good stuff. But what happened when you're away from your computer or you're in an area that you don't really have access to a computer, well, I thought of myself, it's like, how about I make an Arduino read the serial port of another Arduino and then display it on the screen? So I went on the internet and I tried to find uh, some code. And actually, there's one guy that made um, something similar to that, even probably just a little bit better, because he can actually select uh, baud rate built in in the while the the software is running. Me, while well, for now it's just fixed to uh, nine thousand six hundred, and for now it's going to be more than enough for me because it's only going to be for monitoring one particular project that I'm working on. <clears throat> But uh, enough of the chatting, uh, this is actually a Nokia LCD screen and the Arduino board is directly solder in the bottom and I'm using uh, two of the digital pin to actually power the LCD since the LCD doesn't consume extremely lots of power, you can actually do that and I'm not planning on making this project other than just uh, a serial monitor. So, as it is right now, it's actually hooked up to the computer, and if I type some line, you can see it is actually typing it. And the way that I did it is it's going to continue on a single line unless it receives <clears throat> a uh, carriage return, which is actually a new line. And as soon as it will reach, well, the end of the screen, it's going to go back, and as soon as it fills the screen, it's going to clear the screen and start new. So <clears throat> right now my settings on my computers are no ending light. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that to carriage return. And as you can see, it also send back what you typed. So now what's just going to happen is since it's the first line, it's actually going to uh, print at the end. But the next line is actually going to be on the second, uh, just below this one. So there we go. And as soon as I reach the, the bottom of the screen, there we go. Boop. It returns all the way back to the beginning. So that's basically it. So basically it's just a serial monitor that you can normally do from your computer but this time without the computer and just to prove it I'll actually going to disconnect this powering off the Arduino completely and what I have here is <clears throat> another Arduino just simply it's gonna run and it's gonna print on a new line every time it's going to print integer A and the value of it, and it's going to go up to a thousand and then come back. So I'm going to go ahead and try to hook these wires. Sorry for the shaky camera. And then negative. Positive. Make sure everything is hooked up correctly. And I'm going to hook up my power supply. As we can see, everything's running, and here we go. <clears throat> and it's just going to continue on as long as the program is running. So this is was my, this was my little uh, latest project, and I uh, hope you enjoy. 
If you do require the code for this particular LCD, well, just let me know and I'll uh, be glad to send it to you. If not, that's actually, uh, actually very, very easy to, um, to build. I was impressed by the simplicity of the code. It's just um, the other guy uh, made some menu and then some more uh, change. But if you're not planning on doing lots of complicated stuff with that and just monitoring your own or debugging your own project, well, you can put it a say, uh, set speed and then here you go. It actually works very, very well. All right, thanks for watching.